All right, so I've summoned for Fusi, and he's already built out. But I'm gonna see if uh, he's good without skill ups, because right here, as you can see, without skill ups, his third skill is on a rather long cooldown, six turns, and the skill layout is not really looking too good. Because uh, if you get unlucky and max out his S1 and S2 without going into his S3, uh, then you're kind of out of luck. I'm also not going to get his divinate right now. Yeah, we'll we'll see if uh, he's good for you know very low investment, pretty much just uh, leveling him up to 60, and with no resources uh, put into him at all. He's going to be on the third team. So my previous team was running Clara over his spot right here. Uh, the reason why I use Clara is because she is a healer and also a immunity provider. But if I do this, when with him being in the team, and like I mentioned in my previous video, if you don't want to R2 him, then you kind of want to run him with a secondary attack buffer. So that's why I'm running Sachiko over here. Um, if I have him at R2, what I can do is I can run him and then I can run Ana in this spot. Because Ana would provide the immunity because uh, Sonica can get annoying. She puts like um, a, a buff block on your team and some other debuffs if I'm not mistaken. So he is a very he is an exceptional uh, healer because he heals with his S1 and because he provides like life steal with his Marsh Wind effect. But he doesn't provide any cleanse other than stuns and sleep. And that's why um, with this team it's kind of risky without running a attack uh, without running a immunity or a cleanser but we'll have to see I forgot to show you my runes I made uh, I put on him a ocean set with crit damage attack and speed uh, the reason why you want uh, why I try, I'm trying out crit damage is because his marsh wind effect scales off crit damage so if you have a higher crit damage then you will do higher da uh, higher damage um, from the crits of the uh, additional damage and the reason why I have him on attack instead of HP is because I want to meet the H uh, attack threshold of at least 2000 because most bosses in this game will have a uh, artificial HP of 100,000 and this part right here, 2% of target's max HP means that you need at least um, 2000 attack to kind of maximize your uh, damage throughout, uh, to, through this additional damage that he provides. And that's why I have him at attack. And I have Master Grove because he does scale with a, uh, HP quite a fair bit. His S1 and also his S2. Um, yeah, let's see. Okay, 26 million. That's very good already. He did 600. Wait, his damage is almost as much as Brewster. <laughs> what the heck? His damage. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? His damage is almost as much as Brewster. I think I got uh, pretty unlucky right here. Because the the team only did like about um, yeah his damage is pretty crazy ninety nine hundred and eighty thousand as a support support so he's supporting the entire team with the uh, uh, life steal and everything but he, uh, once again this team does not have a immunity provider which kind of you know makes it a little bit uh, more susceptible to. Sonica's debuff which is like uh, buff block and I think some stuns as well but he does cleanse stuns so it's not really a problem let's go one more time and then I'm going to change up the team a little bit maybe I'll show you the run yeah 21 million uh, again with Sonica his damage is kind of crazy though 800,000 what the fuck <laughs> you know what let's try this I'm going to put in a cleanser Clara we'll see if uh, that does any good 23 million his look at his damage this is a support by the way support by the way 100 1.2 million damage <laughs> i don't know why my yunchuan is doing zero damage <laughs> maybe he's bugged i think wait, wait. why is my yunchuan de dealing zero damage i think something is wrong yeah i don't know why why yunchuan is at zero damage right now okay let's try removing sachiko and just rely on him being a sole attack buffer for the team um we'll see if that does anything okay 21 million once again his damage is absolutely crazy he's he's doing more damage than brewster and yun chuan what is going on yo this guy's cracked up <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> okay one more time i think um yeah 
If you don't have him, have him at R2, you can't really run him as a sole attack buffer for the team. Because uh, the uptime is going to be very low. And you kind of need to rely on RNG quite a fair bit. Yeah, it doesn't really work out all too well. And also, I think my team doesn't have any... Yeah, my previous team doesn't have any unit that runs the set that gives you 10% additional damage. But... Uh, I'm gonna go one more time and then I'm gonna show you, show you the run. There we go. Almost, uh, oh, <laughs> that's almost my high score right there. Look at his damage, dude. You can't tell me he's not overpowered. <laughs> what the hell is this damage? <laughs> he has higher damage than Yun Chuan and Tavor. Oh uh, yeah, we're gonna have to see this one. What the fuck? Okay, we're finally at team three right now. The score is about 25 million. Um, let's see. I want to see how much he's doing with his uh, counter attacks. Not counter attack, his uh, pursuits. I'm gonna put a one time speed right here. Oh, never mind. Oh, there we go. 64,000. What the fuck? <laughs> That's insane. Because he does his uh, pursuit even when um, Brewster does his uh, pursuit. Because right here, Brewster does the pursuit and then he follows up with. Six, did you see the fuck what 16,000 damage and that's why you build him as a DPS not as a tank Because then his pursuits are just going to do like insane amounts of damage and this is without skill ups as well He's going to be spamming his S1 um, a fair bit of time So if you you know get unlucky quote-unquote unlucky and you max out his S1 You're still going to get a, a huge uh, increase in your damage uh, because he, he, he spams his S1 quite a fair bit, right? Uh, again, this is the problem with uh, not running an immunity provider in the team. As you can see, my Yuntron has buff block and speed down. Um, if you don't have him at R2, like I said, the attack up uptime is going to be very low because you need to chance it with RNG whenever your uh, allies cast their S1 or cast uh, any skills. You kind of hope that uh, that that buff is going to be the attack buff because outside of his R2, he doesn't provide any uh, immediate attack buffer, uh, attack buff because you need to chance it, right, with his Heaven's Wheel. And that's why I have Sachiko in this team as a main attack buffer. So I have a guaranteed chance to get an attack buff for this team. If you don't run a secondary uh, attack buffer in your team um, and you don't have him at R2, it's going to be really heavy on your your score you're gonna tank your score quite a fair bit and the the problem with uh not having him at r2 um is that you need a secondary attack buffer like i said and you don't really have a spot that you can remove to put a cleanser or immunity provider in your team brewster is really good with him because brewster also procs his uh secondary damage and then uh tever with uh, the positioning that uh, you do, putting Tavor in the fourth spot, his follow up will have a maximum damage. Uh, so he does a lot of damage with his follow up. Yun Chuan is really good to suppress some of the incoming damage that you take from the boss because if you don't have any um, shield or if you don't have any uh, debuffs like. The Misrate Up debuff or Yun Chuan's uh, Eye of Horus, I think. What's it called? Yun Chuan's uh, thingy debuff. This one, Third Eye Seal, that also increases the Misrate chance. Then you really take you take a lot of damage from the boss, and the boss will then a lot more stuns on uh, a lot more debuffs on you. But again, as you can see, my my. Uh, Tever doesn't get the attack buff, he doesn't get any buff because of the buff block. If you uh, want to make it more efficient, you, then you want to have him at R2. And you can remove the Sachiko to put in an immunity provider. So you will have, you know, your buffs will have uh, will linger on you longer. So I'm, I'm, I'm maybe going to try out removing Yun Chuan. Because right now, Yun Xuan isn't really doing much except for the uh, buffs, uh, the Mace Rate debuff. But like I said, Yun Xuan's 
misread debuff plus his third eye seal is what is suppressing most of the boss's incoming damage. Even though I have, I have a lot of healing, if the boss just one shots me, then it's useless, right? Um, I'm gonna try to remove Yun Chuan and, may, and maybe put in Ana just to provide immunity for the team, or maybe someone else. I don't know just yet. We'll see. But so far, his performance is very good. This team got about what's that? 3.7. Actually, that's not too bad. 3.7, 3.8 for you know just a couple of runs. And him being at R0, D0, no skill ups as well. With skill ups, is gonna be way better because then um, you will have the marsh win effect for a longer period of time. Without the uh, skill ups, the marsh win effect lasts for three turns, and the cooldown is on a six turn, which means you only have a fifty percent chance, a uh, fifty percent uptime on the marsh win. And this is the reason why he's like super overpowered. He gives you a lot of uh, damage with his max HP scaling and also the. Um, the life steal, right? I'm gonna try Ana uh, to provide the immunity, and I, I'm running Ana with the harmony set. So the reason why I'm running Ana over here is once again the immunity, and because she can um, pursuit with her S1. Whenever she casts her S2, she will pursuit with the S1, and then she is going to uh, prop Feng Shun to then uh, use his uh, S1 pro uh, pursuit as well. We'll see if this is any better. Again, the, the problem with uh, not running Yun Chuan is that I can get one shot by the boss. But... Okay, 26 million, not bad. What's this? He's like... <laughs> he's doing more damage than Brewster. I mean, granted Brewster is a single hit Esper, but still... This guy is a support, by the way. <laughs> he's providing this much to the team and he's doing this much damage. Doesn't make any sense. So how much damage did I do? About... 3.8 the same as just now we'll try to one more, run one more time um sonica is where he's best at because he does multi hits okay 20 another 28 million this one is team one doing work this time around brewster did more damage than uh feng shun let's try to remove him and then add yun Chuan back into the team we'll see if that does anything and i'll put her over there i think Okay, 21 million. Yeah, he's, his damage is super consistent when it comes to Sonica. 24 million. Okay, this time around my Brewster did 2 million. What the f... Dude, Brewster almost 2 million. What is that? 2.4, 2.4... Um, 3.7? Wait, this team actually is better than the, the previous Tavern team, right? 2.4... 3.7... Four point one million, about four point one million. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, I think this team is better. So uh, let's count again. That's two million right there. Two point three. I mean three point two, three point three. Sorry, three point four. About three point nine million together. Not bad. Not bad. Um, I so far this team is better than the Tabor team. Uh, again, this score will fluctuate between uh, Team 1's score. Yeah, this with this team, my Brewster is doing way more damage compared to the Tever team because with Yun Chuan, Yun Chuan actually helps to increase Brewster's damage because when he, whenever he casts his S1, that's 3 hits already for the requirement of uh, Sonica's hit count. Sonica's hit count is 3 hits. The first 3 hits that you do will do reduced damage while the subsequent hits will do 100% um, of the damage and that's why you see Brewster this time around doing 2 million damage as opposed to like below 1 million damage because meeting the hit count without Yun Chuan is actually quite difficult and if I don't run Yun Chuan and I run Tever instead, Tever only does 1 hit which means Brewster's follow up will have reduced damage so yeah, I think this team is better especially if I want to push Brewster's damage even further and also with the added utility that Yun Chuan provides, um, yeah, it's doing very well. Maybe I'll ca I can even remove Sachiko and add in Tever right here. We'll see. Uh, so this time around, I don't have a unit that can consistently apply attack buff to the team. So I would really need to rely on the uh, Heaven's Gate, uh, Heaven's Wheel effect. 
Um, the problem with that is that it's very RNG and also because I don't have any skill ups on him, the March Wind effect is only going to be up at 50% of the time. But Sonica does reset uh, my cooldown so that's a bonus. We'll see if uh, this is going to be any better. I doubt it though because... Okay, this actually, I think this is better. That's uh, 2.4 million, 3.4 million, 3.7, it's about the same. 3.7, 3.8. It's about the same damage so far. Uh, maybe I'll do it until my next. I'll do like four more runs. Okay, twenty-five million. So far, he's still like the the first or second highest DPS in the team. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, okay, this time around we got really unlucky with the RNG. Again, I think we didn't get uh, attack buff multiple times in a row because that can happen. You can get the, the same buffs multiple times in a row. Yeah, this team is very inconsistent when it comes to uh, the damage. Because missing attack buffs really tanks your, your score. Yeah, I think it's uh, better to run Sajiko comp. Alright, I'm gonna try him out in Shadow Stream. I'm replacing my Ahmed over here for him. And then we'll see how, how he does. Uh, the same runes again, uh, crit damage, attack, and speed. Okay, that's already. <laughs> I think that's my high score already. 20. Oh, yeah, okay, that's my high score. <laughs> my Ahmed team can barely reach like 20 million. And with this guy, seems it seems like. Oh, sheesh! 27 million. Okay, 17 million. I think someone died right here. Um, but damn, bro. 27 million with like a, a few hundred runs with uh, the Ahmed variant. I couldn't even reach like 25 million. I'm pretty sure. Let's take a look at this uh, 27 million. Um, I have a sneaking suspicion <laughs> that he's going to be the highest damaging unit in this team. Maybe not though. Um, there is Tever, so. And Tever in Desolate Lands is like the best DPS that you can ask for because you can't uh, debuff the boss so Tever is the best DPS with his defense ignoring um, and also he he does like max HP damage as well I think it's like what 600% I, uh, I forgot but yeah this is R0 D0 Fusi and already giving me a high score by quite a fair bit as well my old team couldn't even break like 25 million and this one in the first 10 run already achieved like 27 million and I don't think the, the team can die because the boss doesn't really one shot you um, and he constantly heals whenever your ally does their S1 he just constantly heals right he will uh, pursue with his S1 as long as he has the marshland uh, marsh wind I, I keep saying marshland as long as he has the one sh marsh wind effect he will just pursue whenever your ally uh, does their S1 and then um, heal your lowest ally HP. So he heals more than Ahmed. He provides more you know, buffs than Ahmed for this team in particular. So yeah, he's kind of crazy. Maybe I can even remove Meredith to put in someone else because I already have like a, a stupidly OP healer, which is him. I might be able to just remove Meredith and put in a another support that provides more damage i don't know who but the meredith right here helps quite a fair bit because she does also provide a shield but i don't think i need the shield because i'm not getting one shot it anyways so maybe i can remove her um but i do need a speed later though because um with this one the, the uh there's not that many speed leader um to run for the wind type or if I want to run a attack lead as well it's not really a good idea because uh, the attack lead for wind the 40% one is Yun Chuan if I'm not mistaken he's the only one um, and Yun Chuan doesn't really work in desolate lands right so it's not really that good I'm just gonna skip it and see the damage layout I want to see his damage real quick he is he deals more damage than Li Guang. <laughs> Look at his damage. Uh, his healing is 93,000. Okay, that's not too much actually. 
But again, his healing is the lifestyle that he provides. Not he, he, he the healing that he provides from his S1 is already a lot, but the most the, the bulk of the healing that you get is from the lifesteal effect from the martial wind effect right um so yeah he does 5.6 million damage second highest in the team i'm gonna try to run a different team maybe try to remove meredith okay you know what? i'm just gonna try to run another dps hopefully this works um i have him on astral so he can get as many turns as possible uh he's really good with the Fusi because he does multi hits on his S1, which can proc the effects of Fusi's uh, additional damage multiple times in a row. We'll see if this is going to be any better. Um, I don't know because if you don't have enough speed, then you don't cycle all too well and you don't remove the debuffs on yourself. Yeah, it's I think it's worse because re uh, reducing my speed from not having a speed lead kind of tanks my ability to remove the buffs whereas if I run Meredith I would have a speed lead and I can remove the stacks on me easier oh my god 33 million what the hell <laughs> what the hell <laughs> okay <laughs> okay this one is a little bit more fluctuate this team fluctuates like pretty heavy I think that the other team also can uh, do this kind of score but it all depends on whether Tever can uh, perform a pursuit or not with his relief set. Because um, he's the, the biggest contributor to damage, right? When it comes to this team. But this, uh, I'm going to take a look at the damage on the multiplier phase. I'm going to skip to that real quick. But once again, since I don't have him at R2, I would need to run a secondary attack buffer, which is Sienna. And Sienna is really good because she... Uh, if you have her at R2, then her buffs that she provides is going to be 3 turns. So the attack buff and the speed up buff um, is going to be pretty much up at all times. Especially with uh, this guy, Fusi. Um, granting uh, attack up, speed up or crit damage up whenever your ally casts a skill. So yeah, as you can see my DPS will have the attack up pretty much 100% of the time. Okay, so this 33 million score I got wasn't even times 18 multiplier, it was times 16. I couldn't remove the buffs on Tever and himself because again, I'm missing the speed. So getting times 18 multiplier is quite uh, difficult. But so far his damage is... <laughs> he's out. I think he's outputting more damage than what this guy is outputting, uh, Lu Yi. Because all S1, whenever your ally procs S1, he will just follow up and I'm not even max skilled up with his S3, which means the Marsh Wind effect is on a lower uh, uptime. So if I have him at max skilled up, he will have the uptime of the Marsh Wind effect for, what is it, 3 out of 4 turns, so 75% uptime. That is absolutely disgusting. Yeah, let's take a look at his damage real quick. I think he is going to be the second highest DPS in the team. I'm pretty certain. Yep, he does more damage than you, Lu Yi. What the hell? <laughs> but Tavor is again the highest DPS in the team uh, because he is the cracked out DPS for um, Desolate Lens. Okay, I'm going to try one more team. This is the team I'm going to try. So I'm going to run Ayn. Um, the reason why I'm running her is because um, she has this S3. Is While Maker Strike, with it, which is her S3, is on cooldown, if Ayn is on not incapacitated, grants her teammates, ex excluding herself, extra damage when they attack outside of their turns. Extra damage is equals to 5% of her max HP. So whenever he does his pursuits, that's going to proc Ayn's um, third skill damage, and he's going to be he's going to be pumping more damage on Feng Shun every time he pursues, and he pursues like crazy, right? So yeah, let's try this team out. I'm gonna give the HP lead, so even more HP. Is it going to push his damage like crazy? I think it procs... Okay, so far not too good. I think it procs on every hit. So every hit that he does will proc the additional damage. Okay, this team is not going to do it. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not good. Okay. Uh, but we'll, we'll, I'm going to see if with each hit that he does his pursuit, is it going to apply the uh, true damage from Ayn or not? Okay, it doesn't. 
So Ayn will only proc her passive once per pursuit. So right here, um, let's see. Yeah, that's one and then that's another one. So it doesn't proc on each uh, hit that he does. I thought it was going to be on each hit. But yeah, that's it for the showcase so far. R0, D0. Um, again, you kind of want to build him as a DPS. You don't really need him to be a tanky because he... He doesn't really die first in your team. He's already tanky enough with his base stats. You just need to give him some uh, HP subs and he should be fine. Uh, you can give him Master Grove to push his damage even further. You don't need any crit, on, crit rate on him because he does um, guaranteed crits if he has uh, the Marsh Wind effect. You want him to have as much crit damage as possible, speed uh, as much speed as possible, and you want him to have at least 2,000 attack to um, not cap out uh, when it comes to uh, bossing contents. So yeah, that's about it. He's uh, kind of busted right now. Uh, ciao.